they want to use the lockdown. So the lockdown typically refers to this situation where uh, my legs will lace around one of Drew's leg from a half guard situation. And then from here, I'll cross my ankles. So again, just to be clear, outside leg steps in, inside leg laces under, lace to lace. And from here to put tension into it, I will extend my legs out. And now from here, I will start to draw body weight away from me by extending my leg out, okay? And again, the, uh, a lockdown is a great technique. Uh, it's should, it should be part of your half guard game if you want to become an advanced half guard player. However, how most people use it is wrong. What do I mean by this? The method in which most people use lockdown is a very isometric and non-dynamic method. Typically what they do is say, for example, get to a top head and arm. A lot of times, like, you know, a lot of you 45 year olds out there, I know you'll see this video and be like, oh yeah, that's me. What you'll do is a young buck is on top of you. He got to a top head and arm. You'll lock in, you'll put in a lockdown, you'll extend out, and then you'll use that to alleviate shoulder pressure and get him, him off your shoulder pressure. And you'll just hold here for dear life. Okay. And you'll hold this for as long as you, as you can. You'll, you have no problem being here three minutes for an entire role, making it the most boring role to watch ever in the history of jujitsu. Okay. But again, there's a lot of problems with this. Okay. Problem number one is I'm sure you felt this before. Some guys are darn strong. Okay. So some guys you lock it up, you extend them away and you just can't seem to get that shoulder separation out. And you're like, wow, this kid's really strong. Problem number two is that when you hold it isometrically, meaning if you just take it and just use it to hold the guy in place, eventually he's gonna figure his way out. He's gonna start to use his other foot, start to get out, exactly, and then start to pass your guard anyways, okay? Now, let's go over how do we want to use the lockdown. The way you want to use your lockdown is dynamically. What do I mean by that? Use a lockdown to create off balances or kazushi, all right? So how do I do that with a lockdown? Now. Extending your legs away is only one of the functions of a lockdown. Do you like this content? Make sure to click the like button. What you want to do with a lockdown is think about north, south, east, west. The four directions of off balance with the lockdown. So method number one, south. Most people know that. They extend away. Method number two, most people don't know this one, north. I pump my knees to my chest. I keep my ankles uh, contracted or dorsiflexed, and I start to off balance overhead. Um, east, uh, or, or rather west, I take my knees, my legs out to my, wet, my, to my left, and I swing. Notice how he, st he posted on the mat. Now west, I take my legs back to my right, and I swing back to my right, and notice he has to post with that hand. So as you can see, by going south, north, back, forth, pendulum back and forth, I can start to create a lot of off balance for my lockdown. And that's how you want to use a lockdown. Okay. Now this video is not focusing on what moves to specifically hit with a lockdown. It's just focusing on the fact that most people, when they get a lockdown, they don't use it correctly. And therefore they can't really hit a lot with it. All they do is they basically use it as a stalling tactic or a, st or a stalling mechanism. Okay. So one more time, when you hold a lockdown, don't hold it isometrically or statically. Don't just be the guy who just holds here. He's pushing on the hips. He's, he's grunting with everything he has to take that pressure off of him. And then you end up there two minutes, okay? That's very boring and ineffective jujitsu, okay? Instead, what you want to do is you want to use this dynamically, swinging your, your, your knees back and forth, extending, pumping, extending, swing, two, up. And then from there, you can start to attack in different positions. Make sense?